Hello YouTube, Blumatona here, and welcome to episode 4 of this Let's Play Total War 3 Kingdoms as Gongdu campaign. Um, where we left off last time was we just annexed this province of Wu Wei here all the way in the northern reaches of the map, nice and defended uh, with, with this force. Uh, they did run out of supplies, but they, uh, sorry, wait, that's not the force, they did run out of supplies, but they should be um, recovering uh, some supplies this turn. Uh, obviously, they can't move. They'll ju just hang out there. Uh, we have our main force positions here in Anding because there was a uh, a Dongmin force that was kind of there, and then it walked back this direction. So we'll see if they reappear. Um, they have full movement points, but I think we're going to just hold them here for, uh, for a turn to see what happens. Um, there's no one really... To attack on this side. I mean, I, I want to take that uh, province, but I think I'll do that with this guy, Zhuhi, up here as he makes his way back down south. Um, and then we'll advance down the Dongmin with this army. But I want to I want to give it a turn because I don't know where the force is over here. And I don't want to move this way south and then have him appear and take the uh, city from me. So we're going to make sure we don't do that. But um, we do have a little bit of money, uh, which is nice. We're making a d decent amount, 512. I mean, that's not not really, uh, not really great, but also not, uh, not awful. Um, and yeah, and we have, if we look at the commanderies list here, we do have four commanderies now. Although, um, two of them are incomplete. Anding still has the toolmaker and the farmland, uh, not included. And then up here in Wu Wei, neither the horse pastures or the farmland are included either. Um, so let's go ahead and, uh, jump in. So yeah, I already said armies are, they have, they're gonna stay where they are. This guy's gonna chill here. This one has no movement points. Um, so let's just go through this. Yeah, we're making our progress in healed, um, court wise. Uh, none of these are unlocked yet. And oh, right. Okay. We have a uh, Huang Xiao available to hire because his faction was destroyed. I remember that that happened last video. Um, I have the money to do it now. I think I, I think I might, he's pretty, you know, I mean, he's a legendary character, right? Yeah. Legendary character. So he gets plus 20 to expertise, cunning, uh, and authority. Plus one resilience, character experience, faction wide. If he's the leader, uh, is, was all stock and uh, ranged unit recruitment cost reduction. If he's the leader, um, or a lord of virtue, I are these the lords of virtue? May, I'll see when I unlock them, but I don't know yet. Um, he has great stuff with him. He's got this matched Jan, uh, nice little bronze weapon. Okay, horse, but he's got a silver advisor, uh, resolve authority, public appeasement reserves. Um, Huang Xiao's already has his own armor for increased attack rate, a lot of expertise and authority. And, oh, wow. Okay, and Art of War, this book, with eight authority, eight satisfaction. Um, yeah, okay, and then you can do these formations. So, yeah, he's really good. You can see his stats are really high. Um, what does he have here? Tranquil, armor, and replenishment for the army. I like that. Uh, plus 12 resolve, plus six resolve authority. Minus corruption, if he ends up being a Lord of Virtue, which maybe we'll make him one eventually, if, if that's what these are. Um, and then brilliance. Uh, okay, cool. That's the, um, that is the ammunition one and income from all sources in an administered commandery. Nice. Okay. Yeah. We, you know what? Let's just do it. We're going to hire him. I want to recruit him because I don't want to lose the opportunity to, in case someone else recruits him. Um, it's a financial hit, but I think it's worth it. Uh, let's see. So he should be in the characters list now. Yeah. There he is. Huang Xiao. Um, okay. Yeah, we will, uh, we'll definitely do that. And I did do some research between uh, videos, uh, just briefly, and I saw that, uh, this type of character, um, what, whatever he is, a scholar, has a public order boost, uh, mission, uh, assignment that they can do, and I desperately need that here in Wudu. I need public order to rise so that I can start gaining population, because right now nobody lives here, which is, uh, which is kind of hilarious. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna recall the current assignment here, um, because I only have two assignments, so I can't assign him also. So we're going to recall the assignment. That's going to hurt our silk income, um, but that's a, I'll take the income hit uh, to boost up the public order, which will ultimately make me more money anyway, because you can get up to 200% bonus to income from all sources just by having population uh, in the settlements, which you know I don't have right now. So we're going to we're going to want to do that. Um, we're going to want to raise that population. Anding, doing well. Uh, public order is recovering, keeping the uh, garrison helps there and population yeah see i'm getting plus 18 percent income from all sources and that's just going to keep rising as population goes up so it's going up about four thousand uh, a turn right now which is nice here public order is doing well and population is, is is stagnant it's not growing but it's also not shrinking um that was jin chang and yeah wu wei is our last one 
Uh, public order is rising pretty significantly, mostly from the garrison. Um, and there's a decent population as well. Um, so we are, yeah, I think we're pretty happy with that. Uh, what about diplomacy? Uh, yeah, these are the same guys. I still can't do anything with them. Uh, reforms, right? We're doing the public order reform. Uh, records, eh, I don't need to see that. And then um, treasury. Okay, yeah, we, so we're making 332 next turn. Uh, that should be um, pretty, uh, pretty good. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and let's move to the next turn. I want to see what uh, Dong Min here does, because he really is my main adversary to the south. Uh, you know, Dong, uh, you can see, you know, this is all his land here. Um, all this. So there's no one else that's really a threat from this side right now, because this is all empty, uh, unowned land, except for this one province, which is just a Han Empire spot. Um, so, yeah, so I'm mainly focused on Dong Min right here, right now, and hopefully we'll start making some progress in that direction. So let's go ahead and let's move to the, uh, to the next turn. Oh, there he is. Yep, he, he appeared and then he disappeared? He must have gone into ambush stance. I think that's, that's why they disappear, is if they go into the ambush, uh, stance, so... Um, I'm, I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to keep an eye out there. I, I, I'm gonna be a little worried about moving my army, because I think I can beat him in a battle, um, but I don't think I can beat him in an ambush, because, you know, they'll, they'll start surrounding me, and actually, oh, it says it right here, ambush, uh, discovered. Oh, well, not all the way over there. It looked like he walked to, like, right around here somewhere, uh, in this zone, and went into ambush stance, so, okay, that's interesting. Um, oh, sorry about that, uh, I had to, uh, just take care of something real quick um anyway okay yeah so we're not gonna move this force i don't want to get caught in an ambush and i also don't want to move away if he's right if he's like right in here somewhere he could threaten the city um what's the distance how far can this person move next turn so they might they could kind of move up this way to support him uh this army's kind of weak though i mean it's a lot of it's a good amount of cavalry i guess they're bringing in um but they're not going to be replenishing past this kind of like half strength state that a lot of these force uh units are in um what i might do here though is fill out uh, Zhang Kai's unit roster and get him two more units. Uh, I'm not sure what I want. Um, obviously, these guys, yeah, we got spears, you know, the glaives, the spears, and the two archers, but these are just peasant archers. They're not that good. Um, you can see their range is only, uh, if I go, uh, how do I, if I just select them, their range is only 180. Um, whereas if I were to recruit in, like, just a normal archer unit, um, you can see they have a range of 200. So I'm thinking I might want some more ranged units in this army, because I, I don't think I need more than the two units of the uh, anti-missile you know missile cavalry. Um, and uh, But I got, yeah, the two Guardians of the Land, the two other spear three Guardians of the Land, two other spear units. So I'm thinking, like, I got enough infantry, uh, and I have uh, all right cavalry combined with the two generals. Not not what I would want, uh, ideally, but not awful either. So I think I'm going to pull in, yeah, we're going to pull in two of these guys, two of the... Uh, Yellow Turban Archers. We'll, we'll recruit them in, and they should muster up pretty quick. Uh, yeah, you can see they're going at 33% uh, uh, a turn. So they should come in uh, pretty quickly. Um, yeah, we're going to, since they're mustering, we're going to leave them there uh, for now. Uh, it's taking, we're definitely taking a hit in the treasury, uh, but that's all right. We're, hopefully we get, you know, we can start fighting these guys soon and, and make some money from the battles. Um, so yeah, Wudu. Oh, right. Okay, so I need to send the assignment in now. Yeah, there's Huang Xiao. And we're going to do this Inspire Populace plus 12 to Public Order um, assignment that he has. So that will give plus 12 to Public Order per turn uh, until I, for 15 turns or until I take him out. Uh, probably won't let it go the whole 15 turns. But it's definitely, uh, definitely worthwhile. Um, and that'll keep him happy so he won't get any uh, lack of purpose and hopefully lose the general discontent also um, as he, uh, he kind of, you know, helps out there. Um, and then we got Jin Chang. Yeah, Jin Chang, we still have the... Uh, uh, stimulate markets thing that's giving us a lot of commerce and silk income. You can see how valuable uh, that income is there. All right, as for this guy, um, yeah, their their supplies are low, but I think as long as we uh, march them in our friendly territory, the supplies will continue to increase, and then we can eventually make it over here. Um, they, and I want them to keep replenishing too, so if I were to bring them across the river, crossing's there. I mean, it's quicker to go through the enemy territory. I mean, I'll move that way for now. Um, it's quicker to go through the enemy territory, but I think I'm going to lose reserves if I'm in enemy territory. Uh, and I also won't get the replenishment, and this army's like kind of at half strength. So I'm going to probably go, maybe, even if it takes a turn or two longer, I think it's worth it to do the crossing here and cross in 
uh, friendly territory. And then this city up here, I mean, it's not that great. It's got a really small garrison. Just one, uh, you know, level one small town. Doesn't even have any of the other, uh, you know, provinces here. But I need 4,000 to unlock them, and I'm not anywhere close to that right now. So, uh, nothing, nothing too much I could do in that regard. Um, alright, so I think I'm pretty happy with how the commanderies are going. Uh, they'll all be gaining public order, except for Wu Wei soon. But Wu Wei will start gaining public order once faction support, uh, gets up to 100. Um, so that's okay, and yeah, then this one will start gaining public order quickly once that assignment takes place, uh, which is also great. So I'm happy with the commanderies, I'm happy with where the armies are, um, and I, yeah, I don't really have the money to do anything else, so quick turn, uh, but let's see what they do uh, down here, uh, what the Dongman armies do down here, and I'm going to zoom in, uh, get a better view. Let's go ahead and let's jump on to the next one. Alright, here we go. Dongmin. Yep, he appeared again. He was right there. And here comes the other army. Yep, the other army's coming into reinforcement range. I guess that was that was expected. Um, so they are definitely putting the pressure on me here in Amding. It's kind of like a little bit of a standoff right now, uh, which is which is interesting. We will. Uh, so we'll see how we want to play this. And oh, Lu Bu, how did he do this? Is he attacking me? In Amding? No, he's not attacking me. Oh, that's ridiculous. How is he? Is this like some... Wait, wait. So just governance? Okay. Brothers in arms. Let me just go through these and I'll deal with it. Uh, Gongdu relationship uh, deepens with uh, Zhang Kai. Okay, that's the other general in his army. And that gives satisfaction uh, to Zhang Kai for uh, 10 turns. Nice. And then what's ambushes? Yeah, okay. I see the ambush. Thank you. Um, okay, that's really frustrating. So... Lu Bu, I guess it's a mission he has. His last time when he sabotaged the Wudu one, he was there attacking it. I guess he's able to sabotage the stockpiles without attacking it. Uh, the city it's himself, which is really, really frustrating. Because now that's, what, six turns, right? Or, yeah, five, okay, five turns of uh, supplies depleted, which means the reserves are at zero. There's nothing I can do about that. I can't I can't raise them. Um, and, uh, and that's going to kill, okay, I'm going to lose all my population that I have here. Uh, fortunately, I mean, it's not a city I'm making a lot of money in, so if I do lose that 18% bonus into peasantry income, it's only going to go from 247 to 210, so I'm not going to lose that much money. I'm more worried about the public order. Uh, I need to find a way to keep that up. Um, well, definitely kicking out the local forces will help. This is going to be quite a large fight. Um, I will, so it'll be me, it'll be my army and the city's garrison, the uh, which is, on its roots. um, five units of swords, two units of archers, so not that large of a garrison, uh, against this army, um, I mean, which isn't the best, they got a couple spear guard units here, uh, they have a lot of cavalry, uh, one, two, three, six units of cavalry, so they're gonna definitely outmatch me cavalry-wise, but I def, I definitely outmatch, outmatch them infantry-wise, um, and then this army joins in, which is kind of like half strength, uh, comes with a little bit, I mean, I could wait and let them besiege me, um, I could also go and attack the smaller, I mean, I'm trying to think of options here. If I attack the smaller army, I don't get the city support, whereas if I attack the larger one, I do. Um, I could also attack the larger army, I think, and fight a night battle, which would, uh, which would mean that they don't get their reinforcements, and I definitely, I think I can take on, uh, his force in a 1v1 fight. Um, so that's, okay, I got some options there. But before we jump into the fight, let's go ahead. So I did get the plus two public order reform, which is really nice. Uh, so Wudu should be getting, what, 14 now? Yeah, 10 from the uh, from the assignment and two from learning. So that's good. So that will recover pretty quickly. Um, this force up here, I, I, I was thinking, it, yeah, I am going to keep uh, keep them going through uh, friendly territory. It's going to cost us uh, a turn or so of moving, but I, I think it's important... Um, to keep in friendly territory doing this because I, I want to just slow, you know, not lose military supplies all the way down again and also uh, get the replenishment because um, I do want this force to to strengthen. Uh, I'm already paying for the units. They might as well be for, uh, full strength for me, right? Um, all right. Public order here is now positive, which is good. Hopefully we start getting some population growth soon uh, as a result of that. Uh, okay. And then, yeah, this I don't really have the money again to do anything in these towns. So let's go ahead. And I think we're going to go ahead and, yeah, let's go and attack the main force of Dongmin. And then we'll, um... 
Oh, I don't have the option to do a night battle. Okay. So we'll do a large army battle that allows me to control. It's a. It's gonna say. So it says I should win, but it's gonna be a fearic victory. Um. Yeah, they get these guys, I and mean, they got a lot of generals in here. And maybe I. I they're they're kind of weak though, right? Uh, I mean, level threes. Those aren't terrible. I got five four, and then yeah. Um. Definitely large army battle. I'm gonna want this reinforcements from the city. Uh. Just some some more troops to toss in the mix. Uh, always great. And let's go ahead. And this is gonna be a huge fight. Let's do it. Alright, um, so I have an interesting scenario here. So my reinforcements are coming from the right side, and obviously I want to meet up with them. But their reinforcements are coming over here from the left side. And um, that's kind of interesting because I can deploy anywhere around the field of battle, including literally right here. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to try, if I can pick off the whole army of reinforcements before having to assault the main settlement, that's uh, that's what I plan to do. Um, so let's go ahead and let's let's be strategic with this here because I know they have some half units of cavalry and whatnot. Uh, let's go ahead and let's deploy uh, my tower here. Um, that'll that could, that'll fire in on them as they come into the uh, as they come in. Uh, we can also put the uh, fire pit right in front of them. Uh, I'm kind of cheesing this a little bit, that's for sure. Put a little cavalry line so they can't just charge in. Um, but hey, you know what? I do what I can do with a, with a large fight like this. Um, all right, so let's get my all my infantry. Uh, that's those units and these guys. So my whole front line of infantry. Uh, yeah, we're going to form up here. I want you guys just ready for them. Ready to come right in. I'm going to try to cut off an escape here with units of spearmen. Uh, and we'll do, yeah, we'll kind of do the same sort of angled setup here. Uh, I now, I also want all of my archer units, including the, uh, the horse archers, set up right, I want immediately, um, I want these guys to start, uh, start peppering them. So we'll put up the horse archers here. Uh, you guys can get on fire arrows. These two, yeah, I want them all not running. These two, they are, see, they'll, they'll get them the moment they run in. These guys here as well, put them on fire arrows. Uh, two units of cavalry. Uh, you can be over here ready to flank in. Um, and then the generals, yeah, you can be with the cavalry ready to charge in if you have to. I think this is a good... <laughs> we're going to try to catch the reinforcements uh, from this deployment zone as they come into the city. Because uh, that would be a huge, huge plus to not have to... To be able to pick them off and not have to deal with their whole army at once. Yeah, here they come. There go the immediate shots. How do I light the oil? Do I have to do it manually? I'm not sure. Uh, okay, yeah, but all these archers should be... I'm just making sure. They're all on fire at will. Yeah, and they're all obviously covering them in range. Uh, okay, can I do an immediate duel here? Uh, does it want a duel? Uh, okay. All right, yeah, so everyone, yeah, there they go. They all open up. Uh, but they're not, uh, they're going for the general, which I don't want. Uh, I want all them fire in immediately. Yeah, just fire, hit, hit those guys. All the horse archers, I guess just hit those guys. Uh, looks like they got two units of cav coming in on that side. I'm going to go slow motion for this for a minute. Yeah, we're going to move these guys in. I want them more easily able to uh, to participate in the fight. Yeah, okay, go back to, uh, just fire at will, fire who you want. Yeah, you guys all stay on that archer unit. Oh, they got guys coming in on this side. No, 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 no. That was not supposed to happen. Um. Alright, generals. Please charge in on her immediately. Um. I'm gonna... Spear, yeah, you know what, spear units, just, uh, yeah, hold your position, I guess. Guess get in on her. Hold there. You guys. All you guys, yeah, just make your way this direction. Alright, generals are coming in. Spearing it broke off. They broke off the cab, so go that way. Um, generals. Yeah, go in and hit that cavalry. You can deal with her later. Yeah, I'm worried about the cab, I think, a little more so. 
you guys pull off. You guys go in on her. Pull off and uh, you all relocate to over there, please. And thank you. Uh, where are the generals? Generals, hit them, please. The enemy unit, please. There we go. Give my guys some boosts. All right, generals are in, in engaged with the enemy now, uh, which is great. You guys turn on them. You let's see if you can go take out that archer unit. All you guys over here, hit that cab, please. You all, yeah, just keep uh, keep on the generals. She's almost dead. Keep on her. You, yeah, you should be able to to take them out on your own. You, let's go after the generals as well. Spear unit, yeah, turn on the swords. Other spear units, stay on the cavalry. Um, all right, all you guys hit there. You, sir, let's see if you can finish her off. All right, we'll go back to full play. I think I got this one. Let's see if they can get her. All right, she escaped out. You go, okay, general, turn focus to the other, uh, other woman. You guys, let's stay on them. You, sir, stay on the general, please. All right, you guys, get in this way and walk. Okay, you guys, you guys can finish them off. General, stay on the general. I'm just need. I wanted to knock these generals out of the fight too. All right, there we go. All right, all archers, uh, let's halt and save, uh, save your ammunition. All right, they're all routing. All right, everyone else that's in here, go ahead and, uh, and focus in on her. Uh, should be able to uh, should be able to take her out. Not that much time. You are no warrior at all. Where is she? Is she on her horse still? No, she's on foot. All right, yeah. So she'll fall. She'll be done in a minute. Here, we're just gonna swarm her. Uh, swarm her with everyone. Uh, no, 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 no. You guys should be on off fire at will. Yeah, they all are, right? Oh, no, they aren't either. All right, so that's a nice big swing. Uh, any second now, she'll she'll fall. Yeah, she's just kind of raging here in the middle, doing her thing as everyone everyone uh, swarms her. Yeah, down to five k health, shouldn't be too bad. Down to one point nine k health, and she's dead. Okay, great. So now let's take our entire. Oh, the, that's enemy controlled. No, 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 no. Generals, go take back the tower, please. I don't. I guess it's been firing in on my troops. That's kind of a bummer. Uh, yeah. So we'll we'll recapture. Just real quick here. All right, my tower again. All right. So yeah, this whole force. All right. So there's their army. So this whole force. Let's go ahead and let's set up uh, outside tower range over here. You can walk. No no need to run. Uh, let's save your stamina. And then we got this force over on this side. That tower is short range. That tower, yeah. So you guys, I guess, just come out this way, and we'll have them run in, get there quickly. All right, fast forward time. So everyone gets into position. I should have been having them move towards me uh, before I wasn't. Um, that was that was definitely a mistake. I wish there was like a even faster speed to go. Is this is on? You know, these guys are walking on triple speed right now, and they're still going pretty slow. We'll go out. Maybe this will help keep an eye on their whole formation. Yeah, I can see the towers range. Just want to make sure my guys don't accidentally broach it uh, as they're as they're moving. All right, it is kind of it is definitely a disadvantage to be having to go into this fight uh, against. A city, uh, you know, a settlement with towers. They were able to fort up here, uh, get the temporary fort going. But I don't think it's the end of the world. Uh, I do have a lot of range block chance, guys. Uh, yeah, some, some that I could use for initial assault until I take the tower. The good thing is the city set up like this will uh, make it more difficult for them to uh, what's it, to utilize their cavalry advantage because everything's going to be pretty close quarters in the city, which is uh, which is definitely you know that was definitely a hope. Or that that you know that's definitely an advantage uh, advantage for me uh, in that respect. Um, all right, everyone's almost in position here. Yeah, these guys are winded. Yeah, that's that's what I was worried about. 
Alright, let's get back off Tactical Mab. Yeah, they're forming up. Great. Anyone want to duel? I would, I would totally duel right now before going to the city, take out a general or two. Uh, yeah, they're going to stay out of range, I believe, right? Yeah, they're going to stay out of range. So we'll try to hit them from two sides here. Uh, I could also use my fire arrows to try to take out some of the towers. So that's also a, a potential possibility. Yeah, he's overwhelming, out of range. Make ready. Duel. Doesn't want to duel out of range. This is a pretty similar... Lu G, maybe I could take out Lu. Oh, whoops. Uh, maybe I could take out Lu G. This guy. Uh, what does he have? He's got. Oh man, battle almost 2,000 damage battle axe. Yeah, I'm not gonna risk that. Uh, definitely not. What about this guy? What? Jeez, why do these guys all have sick weapons? That's over 2,000. Okay, yeah, I can't duel these guys. Their weapons are insane. Um. All right. I might take my archers uh, with fire arrows, which is all these units and see if I could start burning one of these uh, one of these towers down. I'm going to take some heavy damage when I do. Um, but uh, but it might be worth it. Uh, I don't I guess I don't have like I don't have a loose formation option. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I guess I, I guess I need a general that has it or something. All right, there's the tower's range. So let's form up those archer units right outside it. I just want to see, if I can eliminate the towers, it will make the path into the city a lot quicker. And, and you know, sacrificing some archer units is, is probably, I think it's probably worth it for that to be able to punch in with my infantry a little easier. So let's go ahead and let's send the three, uh, or the four, the two, uh, what am I saying? These two units of uh, light bow infantry. Okay, there, yeah, towers are firing. So go after that tower, please. Three units of cavalry. Hit the other tower. I don't know why the towers were firing. I, I wasn't in range, but now I'm in range, obviously. Um, all right, if I can get these on fire, uh, that would be really, really nice to start this whole thing off. How many how many arrows is that going to take? Eesh, that doesn't look... Fire. Oh, 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 really high already. Oh, there we go, there we go. That went really quick. All right, yeah, take out the other tower. That went really, really quick. Okay, we're definitely going to do this with all the towers if it's, if it's that fast. I think maybe because it's like a temporary fort, it goes quicker. Yeah, keep hitting it. Come on. Like, instead of, like, you know, a city with, like, fully established towers, maybe it's, like, a wooden fort. It goes quick. I don't know why that first one went so fast and the second one's going so slow. Who's routing? These guys are routing already? Jeez. No way. Oh, it's done. All right. Great. Well done, guys. Nicely, nicely done. Uh, these guys want to come back. That'd be great. Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, the fire spread. Oh, so the whole wall is going to go down. All right, so we're going to sit back and let this happen. It looks like it's going to go all the way around the fort. Okay, that's huge. They, the fort is basically no advantage for them now. Um, that's all. I'm not funneled into the middle, and the towers won't fight me. So we're going to let this. Uh, we're going to let this go. Let the towers all burn down. I thought I was going to have to go around and hit the towers individually, but uh, apparently not. Apparently they're just going to go ahead and and burn and crumble on their own, which is awesome. Which is, uh, which is really great. That helps me a lot. Nice uh, nice bonus. I guess the other half isn't, uh, but that's okay. The other half isn't going to really be affecting me during this fight, as long as I stay between the posts. I mean, it'll affect these guys, I guess. You know what? Get out here, horses. You know, if I have fast-moving horse archers, might as well use them, right? get into there. Just out of their range, their archer's range. Yeah, there goes the tower. Go ahead and hit it, and that will burn down this whole segment of wall, too. Uh, and it, with this whole segment of wall and towers are burned down, then these guys will also have an unobstructed clear path into the city. So it's definitely, definitely well worth it. Uh, I don't know why, my guys are taking a little while to start firing their arrows, but they're, they're getting there. Uh, what's fire, fire damage is at 1%, it's nice. Uh, they are getting hit by those guys. I, I really don't care. Uh, we can sacrifice the unit a little bit if it means taking down. Well, not if they're going to flee. So I guess get out of range. Yeah, come on. I, you guys took down that first one in like two seconds. I'm not sure why this one's been such a uh, such a hassle for him, but it seems to be. 
Come on, get out of range. There we go. Alright, hit the tower, please. Get to get your shots off. Come on, guys. What is this? Let's go. Fire. Alright, that's not at all how I told them to line up. Uh, but if that's how they want to line up, I don't care as long as they start firing their dang arrows. Come on, guys. Fire your arrows. What is going on? I don't, I don't really know exactly what's happening. It's frustrating. <laughs> it's just... Why they're just refusing to move, uh, I have no idea. Um... But, yeah, they're just literally... They're, they're literally... I mean, not move. They're refusing to fire. And, and I, I don't understand why. All right, there they go. Finally. I, I really don't get that. I will cut you to pieces yeah. for your treachery! We're literally just gonna sacrifice these guys if it means taking out these towers and their whole section of wall. I mean, that that's gonna help my chances a lot. Um, hopefully they can get it lit. Yep, they're firing their arrows in. Their archers are definitely... Uh, countering and I'm losing a lot of horses but there we go got the wall oh, done the you guys can okay you can retreat but they broke anyway um, all right perfect exactly what I was hoping for so let's go ahead now and I guess let's let's start we can move up a lot closer and the remaining archer units you can get in the position you guys can go back to fire at will uh, cavalry you can take the inside flank uh, so you can help support these guys. Oh, whoa. Spun a little quick there. You can help support those guys. And then, yeah, these guys can move up as well. Alright, so everyone's getting in the position. Well, which is lovely. Generals. Yeah, there goes the fire spreading, exactly as I was hoping. Alright. Alright. So we're going to be pretty strategic with who we tell our archers to fire at. Actually, uh, oh, we'll let everyone get in the position first. As long as we're still outside of archery, right there, archery range, which we are. All right. So we can have my archers just try to decimate one of their units. These all, these guys all have good range block chance. Uh, none of these cav units do, and obviously their uh, archers usually don't either. So the archers don't. Um, I might just tell them, yeah, like I wish I could say only fire at cavalry. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put our archers into a spot where they, will they, oh my gosh, where they will be in range. Um, I'm also gonna go ahead, take the infantry line here. Uh, we'll, we'll group this whole group of infantry together. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna have them, uh, move up quickly. So I want four units of spears. You guys can get yourselves up to there for those cavalry units. We'll take the two units of swords. You guys can get right in the middle yourselves. And then who isn't moving? These four units of spears. You guys can rush the right flank. Generals. Uh, let's see, maybe we can take out one of their generals right off the bat, uh, which would be pretty nice. Um, but these guys on this side, okay, yeah, units of archers. Two units of archers. Go ahead and... Fire at the G Militia, please. And then all these units, I want them rushing like like so. And we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll try to sandwich them in. Uh, two generals, you guys can work together. Let's rock, rock, get some havoc. Go for Dong Min himself right off the bat. And play. Here we go, guys. Here we go. All right. Big fight. And right, I'm going to pause again right before we make first contact. Are my archers in position yet? They're almost there. Okay. Let's go. Yep, so generals are immediately going in on Dong Min. Archers. Firing on their archers, actually. You all go after the cav. Go in there. Go in there. Hit the guys behind, please. Two units of spears hit that cav. Two units of spears hit that cav. Swordsmen, go right up the middle. Spears on this side, hit them. Spears on this side. All spears on this side, go in. Want all four units of archers here. Go ahead and hit their archers there. 
And let's continue. All right. And here we go. Everyone's engaged. Generals. Oh, man, my game's kind of lagging a little bit. I love it. Generals, use your abilities, please. Go ahead and hit him. Oh, cavalry. I totally forgot about you. Uh, I guess go ahead and hit Neo Fu. That works for me. You guys in there. They're rowdy. Nicely done. Hit the spear guards, please. Okay, that unit is rowdy. Also nicely done. Let's make sure they break. Okay, that unit of archers is rowdy. That's why my guys are moving. Uh, so archers, let's go ahead and fire on that unit of archers, please. Did you rout? Whoa, my generals took some... Oh my god, my generals took some huge, huge hits. Alright, he's routing. Um, both generals, I guess let's go in on that guy. And I want this whole group of units going in on him too. He needs to go down, and he's doing some serious damage to my generals. Uh, we can help out, actually, in the middle here with my generals briefly. Uh, before turning back on the him. Uh, you guys go in on there. All these spearmen and whatnot. Uh, I want you guys to get in on this cavalry first, and then we'll swing around behind the guys in the middle. You all keep pushing through, punch through to the archers. All these guys, go ahead, hit them, hit the cav. Uh, you archers, stay on those archers. Okay, we're going to go like half speed because my, my generals were taking damage a lot quicker than I thought they were. And I, I usually don't want to go on half speed, but my game was kind of lagging too. So I think it's kind of, I think it's a good call. Oh uh, yeah, these guys in the middle are kind of rowdy in here. Uh, hopefully general coming in will, will help get rid of, oh, the cavalry blocked charge. That's really annoying. Here comes the other general. Uh, I just need, I want to get rid of this block of infantry that they have here in the middle. Uh, here, yeah, other general charging in. Uh, all these units are about to swarm this one unit of cav, uh, which is perfect. Come on, guys, keep on them. Unit of uh, swordsmen, try to break in and hit these guys from behind. All right, generals, go back to Liu Ju, please. Oh, uh, this unit, unit turned. What no, not yet. Alright, yeah, they're they're kind of stagnant over there right now. You all, I guess, hit the swords. Come on, these guys need to break. If they break, I can try to put all these guys on the center fight. He's down to 13k. That's great, that's great, that's great. Okay, there they broke. Alright, everyone get in and help out in the center. Uh, this general is running. Why, why are these archers running so far up? Um, no, no, I want archer, the archer units over here. Uh, I guess just, uh, form up and we'll let them fire at will. Uh, cavalry units that I got. Looks like, yeah, we, we got this one. Their generals are starting to route. Spear units, uh, just getting in the middle. Um, swords units, stay on them. Alright, let's go. The time has come. Yeah, this guy's down with 12k. He's still falling. Sword unit... Just getting in the middle. Yeah, and now you guys, yeah, hit, hit hit them. There, he's running, he's running. All right, we're swarming these uh these this infantry block that they got here in the center. Uh, cat. Oh my god, this game is it's just lagging so much right now. Um, cavalry, go ahead and hit these. Ar just route those archers out. Uh, that would be great. Um, generals, yeah, stay on him. He's he's dangerous. I don't want him coming back. Uh. Like, I think one of the, yeah, their main general came back over there. Uh, yeah, these guys, okay, this is going, uh, going better for sure, uh, here in the middle. Uh, I guess you guys can hit the Jan Swordsman. Um, but yeah, these units are all fighting in here. You guys, let's get around. Uh, you all hit them from behind, please. Uh, yeah, actually, you guys, no, no, of course, stay after them. Yeah, he's faster, so he's going to escape. But we'll go ahead and we'll use the generals to do some, make sure these guys over here start routing. Uh, looks like I should have this one shortly. Yeah, go ahead and hit these dudes. Yeah, they're going to route any second now. Oh, okay. Generals did come back over here. Stay on Dong Min. Let's see if I can take him out. Uh, this unit routed. Let's go hit the archers. The time! Yeah, these units are starting to route. Yeah, they're routing. Okay, great. Great, great. Archers are routing. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to go ahead. We're going to have to use our generals to go help over here. 
Uh, this unit's shaken. We, we can try to route them in a second here. Yeah, the generals are, are still out here fighting. Yeah, just get in the fray, and uh, you can use your special ability. It should uh, should should get them out of there. Yeah, there they go. They routed. All right. Uh, go ahead and route that large unit. You all... Getting, see, those units are routing. Uh, we'll tell my archers here... Keep on them. I don't want keep firing at them. I don't want them to, uh, to 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 get out. Those guys are all routing now. Looks like it's just the generals. So we'll have my generals go out there and finish them off. Um, victory. There we go. Uh, okay, I need to think about this though. So I do. I want to take out as many of these guys as possible because this is like an existing standing army. Uh, I just got to find what are the kind of like valuable units, the ones worth going after. Those are a lot of them are archers. Like I'm looking for like the, where the spear guys are. Right, you all, we're not going to catch them. So why don't you all go hit those archers. Um, what do we got here? Yeah, go after the Saber Militia. And you go after the 100G. Alright. We should get some good damage on their troops here. Make sure they don't come back. We're going to get a couple shots in from the... Uh, from the towers in all likelihood, uh, but it shouldn't be too bad. I'll keep an eye on his health Yeah, you can see we're just there dropping like flies, uh, which is exactly what I was hoping for How are you doing? Yeah, he's taking them out And then we can we can turn to that spear guards unit when he's done with them uh, Okay, those guys came back. That's okay cavalry. Yeah, keep on keep on those guys How's, how's this going? Down to 52. Yeah, they're kind of... Okay, you know what? Can you break to the Spear Guards? Can you get to them in time? Spear Guards are a more valuable unit to take out. I didn't realize we were so close to the edge of the map. I might not get there in time. It's going to be close. You all... Yeah, they're still taking them out. Alright, that's good enough. Let's go hit those guys because it's a larger unit. Alright, we did get there in time. That We'll at least get a couple down. Uh, we're not going to get the whole unit. Um, yeah, we actually didn't really get that many. Uh, but that's alright. And then, yeah, we'll see. We'll just run them to this side, see if we can get somewhere in time. Nah, we're not going to get anywhere in time here. Yeah, stay on them. Yeah, they got to the edge too quick. That's too bad. But it's alright, that was a really successful battle. Uh, it took, took forever. Um, but definitely, definitely a really successful fight, so... I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm very happy with that. Uh, this is the last unit, so we'll just do as much damage as we can, uh, and then they'll get out of there. Alright, uh, yeah, end battle. They will grow weary of the protracted conflict. A swift okay, cool, so let's see how much money I get. This... Hopefully it's a lot. Is that, I, not only, I took out basically two full armies. Silenced. All right, 1,500. I'll take that. Uh, oh, and we got some characters, so nothing of value to steal. Don't really care about you. Uh, yeah, so I'll take the 800. Uh, spare her life. Uh, this guy, Niu Fu, nothing of value to steal. Not really any friends and rivals either. Lumbering, I mean... Take the money. I need the money. Um, okay, now this is... Okay, take another 1,000 income. This is an interesting de de uh, decision. Or 8% replenishment. 8% is pretty significant. But also, do I need the replenishment this quickly? Like, this is the only real threat to me, and their army was, like, completely, completely demolished. Um, whereas the money I could use, it would go a long way. I think I'm going to take the money. I'm going to ransom them. Because these guys, they replenish quickly. Like, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm doing 17% replenishment next turn. I mean, it, 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 I don't think it's worth it. Uh, and what we can, we can actually go right after... Uh, Dong Min again here, so I think uh, I think that's what we'll do. Focus and I think now, rage. like we should be able, yeah, decisive victory. I mean, their army is so weak. I mean, their generals are. All, I mean, my generals are weak too, so I got to be a little careful about that. But their generals are uh, are pretty weak as well. Maybe I should have taken the replenishment. Uh, I kind of thought like the money would definitely be worth it, um, but I'm starting to think maybe the replenishment would have been would have been a little bit more worth it. Um, just to just to be able to follow up with them, you know, uh, follow up and, and chase these armies down. I didn't I didn't really think about the fact that I'd be chasing the retreating forces, uh, but maybe I should have taken that into account. 
All right. Um, I mean, yeah, the one good thing is, is yeah, their, their army's going to route quickly uh, because it is as weak as it is. Uh, so that that's obviously a plus. What we can do here is we can take horse archers. I mean, we could forward deploy them and just start peppering immediately. I don't know if that's worth it because they have a lot of cavalry themselves. Um, so I think we're just going to go ahead and we're going to use our horse archers uh, as, <clears throat> sorry about that, uh, as normal archers for this fight. And I'm going to put them on fire as well. Uh, we do have some deployables we can put out. Uh, we can put our tower. So I have to put my tower in my deployment zone. Yeah, I mean, it's not going to really do that much. This fight. It's good, better for defensive fights, I guess. Um, but we will put down, I guess, the one. Uh, I mean, this, this is kind of worthless. There's really no point to put that down. Um, Alright, I do want to keep both of my cab units together. I see all their range is on the right side. So maybe we'll kind of use those guys uh, as kind of a funky maneuver. And then, yeah, generals are good to go. Let's go ahead and start the battle. Um, are they going to move towards me? See, see kind of what they do here. No, they're just repositioning. They're going to wait. I mean, that makes sense. There's no reason for them to, uh, to advance on me. So what we'll go ahead and do is we'll take... Uh, our force as it is here. Let's go ahead and let's take all the infantry the and the generals. And we're going to just move you guys right to the outside of uh, their range. Range. I mean, they're up on a hill. They're in a good position. Um, go ahead and move up to there. You guys can walk it. Uh, whole archer line that we got here. We'll move them together. Uh, go ahead and just, yeah, set up uh, set up behind as per usual. And this cav, yeah, kind of move up the, uh, the right flank a little bit. Uh, everyone, everyone can walk. Um, and we will just fast forward until everyone is in position. Are they still running? No, no. Walk, please. Uh, I'm going to decline that. Uh, do I want to do a duel? I, I just feel like uh, the... Ge oh, wait a second. Um, one of their guys has a bow, huh? Yeah. Dongmin himself. He's only at 3.5 health. See, I'm at 7.5 and 6.2. Um, none of them want to duel. This guy will duel Niu Fu. Uh, Niu Fu... It, he just has... A, oh, he doesn't have a good weapon. I thought he had a really good weapon. I thought I remembered from last fight. His weapon's great. His weapon's really weak. It does, like, no damage. Uh, my guy's weapon, on the other hand, uh, is going to do about a 1,000 per hit. It's, he just has more health than me, so I don't really like that. Um, if... Okay, now that I know the general uh, is firing from range, I might just... I mean, I could just charge... I think I got a charge now. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and let's take... The, the infantry line, minus the archers here, we'll group them together. Uh, infantry line, and yeah, you guys, just just get get up there uh, as quick as you can. I want them rushing um, the forces, and then the whole archers group. I guess you guys can just come up here. But I want the cavalry walking, because uh, they're going to get up there too quick otherwise. And, alright, let's go ahead and just resume. Uh, generals, maybe go ahead and charge the dong. I'll be careful with them, but we'll see, uh, but if I could take him out at only 3,000 health, uh, that would be pretty, pretty quick, uh, nice, quick, uh, you know, benefit here at 3.5k, just to immediately take out their leader. Oh uh, yeah, he's coming out at us. See, I'm, I'm losing health quick, that, that bow. He is down the one, come on, hit him, hit him, hit him. This is risky. Uh, oh no, he lost his horse. Oh, get out of there, get out of there. All right, yeah, j just get back to our lines. Get back, please. I shouldn't have done that. I, I didn't think he'd lose his horse. That's that's a that, that's that's gonna be costly. Uh, if he can just get back to the line, um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna tell like the entire infantry group, hit them, please. Uh, yeah, he is he's getting kind of low. General here, just just please, yeah, get back. Ooh, that was kind of a mistake, huh? Yeah, entire infantry group. The entire infantry group swarm him. I guess we could tell like the guys on this side a little bit. Go ahead and hit him. Uh, you know what? Like just yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna focus on these generals first. Everyone on melee mode, go hit the generals there. This whole side, melee mode, go hit the general there. You sir, just please don't die. Go against the guy with the uh, with the low health, and then yeah, general coming back. Just get back behind the lines. I really don't want to lose you. Uh, where am I? Where am I, Cap? Oh, sorry for Cap. Get in there and, and help out, please. Craven. But yeah, the generals are—they're swarmed and pretty caught up, uh, so they should fall uh, pretty quickly. Get out of there! Get out of there, dude! Go help out! <clears throat> All right, one. Their generals did fall. Okay. 
And my, my army's a complete mess right now, but, uh... But we're gonna go ahead and, I guess, just keep keep rolling with this. It's, it, it, it got the generals. <laughs> and the Dong, the Dong, the Dong himself, he's routing, so... Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and this is just gonna kind of be like a cluster the rest of the way here. You guys, yeah, spear unit, go ahead and two spear units, go ahead and chase the, the cab. Uh, you cab, get back. Get out of the- actually, can I get them to go in this way? Go hit some of those archers? Let's see. Generals, let's just pull you out of the fight. I really don't need you in there. I think I got this no matter what here, so. Yeah, we'll, we'll tell my horses to go in on them. Uh, yeah, all you guys, yeah, go ahead and-, and we're, this is just kind of a complete mess right now, but we're, uh, we'll go keep- we'll, we'll keep rolling with it. Oh, uh, yeah, archers are getting hit by my, uh, by my horses- horses back here. Didn't really, yeah, they're kind of spread out. They're kind of caught by some spears also, uh, so a bit of a tough spot, but we're getting, uh, yeah, we're getting some of these archer units to, uh, to route along the line here, which is exactly what I wanted out of those guys. Uh, you all just, I guess, go in on the swords and spears there, and yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna keep making them routes, keep cleaning them up, and, uh, yeah, basically just kind of keep with that. Are either of you guys still on a horse? Yeah, he's on a horse still. Okay. So horse guy, uh, who's on the horse? Yeah, Do uh, Gong, uh, Gong Du himself. So, Gong Du himself, you got you can chase down some routers. Um, let's get just like the ranged cab unit. Go hit them, Gong Du. Yes, go hit the G militia. I guess that's that's all fine. Um, all you guys in here, hit the hit the spear guards, please. Go ahead and hit the G. Hopefully this routes them. Like a nice little charge bonus. Uh, didn't quite route them. These guys are completely caught. Just go chase down a routing unit. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they should route any second now. There we go. These guys are routing. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah, kind of a mess. Definitely a mess. Um, but good to, uh, good to get done. I mean, it's not over yet. I still have this cab and whatnot. Um, but I'm not too worried about it. Go hop, go hop out in there. Yeah, we can, we can keep chasing down routing units, uh, with the generals. Go ahead and hit them. Hit them. And just hit those guys right next to you. Alright, we'll go to we'll go to speed three. I mean, these guys got a route soon, right? I mean there's just eight eight cabs there. These guys got a route soon. Go ahead and use your special. That'll definitely make them route. Here we go. Oh, they're already routing, but this should get a couple kills on him if he can do it. I don't know, he's not really doing it. Um, victory, there we go. Okay, yeah, so now we're just gonna go. We're gonna go ahead and chase down the rest of some of these routers here. Try to really limit their army. Uh, archers don't really care about... Uh, that's a pretty big unit, 49, that, that they have. So we'll go ahead and use him, chase them down. Uh, I didn't get uh, their leader, um, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, I would have liked to uh, to to take him out, um, but uh, but that's okay. We'll, we'll go ahead and finish off uh, some of these guys with the cab. Yeah, that, that works. Other cab units doing their work. Yeah, we got uh, the G militia falling. They're about to hit. The, they're about to hit the edge of the map. Um, yeah, you know what? I think that's. I think that's good enough. Let's go ahead and let's end the battle there. All right. So let, let's see how much money we get from this. Uh, it came kind of close with my generals there. I was a little, little reckless with them uh, with such low health. But uh, awesome. All right. So I got another uh, sixteen hundred, um, and we captured. Lee the Jew. He won't employ, uh, oh, I can take his battle axe. That's like 2,000 damage. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna execute you, sir, and go ahead and take your battle axe. Oh, and I captured Dong Min himself. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, and he's got, uh, the Blade of Jiang Yu, uh, which is, jeez, that's like a 2,000 damage, over 2,000 damage blade with a 30 melee attack rate. Super high. Um, and also the dignified armor. Uh, yeah, we are gonna go ahead and we're gonna execute you too, man. Get out of there. Take them both out. Two, they're two best generals. Done. Just like that. And uh, again, we can get another another thousand instead of the replenishment. Um, that's fine. Go ahead and do that. I'll take the money. And the army falls. Nice. Okay. And yeah, we can't go. We can't reach. Uh, this per uh, and so yeah, so I got all that. So that's amazing. And look, I'm up to seven thousand now, so I actually have some money to like do stuff with. Um, Gongsha Ning Li can't attack them this turn, uh, but we can we can move on them. But we just can't we can't attack them. 
Uh, wow. All right. So that was an incredibly, incredibly profitable uh, cut two battles right there. Um, these guys, yeah, they're going to replenish pretty quickly. They're going to, you know, most look like they're going to replenish in a few turns, maybe anywhere between two and four. Um, but that, that's fine. Most of the infantry looks like it's, it's two turns away, two or three. Uh, so that, that's good. Uh, nice high replenishment rate. And, um, and yeah, and we severely crippled, uh, Dong Min's faction, as you can see now, yeah, strength compared to yours is negligible despite having so much more land. So we really took out their main army. Uh, second army here is also severely hurt, uh, and they're in my territory, so they won't be replenishing next turn. Looks like they, yeah, they can't leave my territory, um, so we can chase them down, which is awesome. We also have the money now to, uh... You know, 7,000, we can actually, you know, go to, like, the farmland here and the toolmaker and, and, and purchase them, because I think they're 4,000 each. Uh, you, sir, yeah, you're already moving. Um, okay, yeah, I mean, I'm trying to think, what do, I mean, definitely I want to save at least 4, I mean, I would love to use 8,000 and get both of them, uh, and just complete the commandery. Uh, or I could use the money to, you know, upgrade buildings, and, uh, I mean, upgrading the, the settlement here so I get a third building slot. Uh, I have the food to do it, that's definitely appealing. Um... Jin Chang, what can I do here? Yeah, I could upgrade the settlement to get a fourth building slot, and I also, yeah, I mean, I still have the food for that, too. I could also do the dock market upgrade, which was 50% to 75% income from commerce, uh, which would be great. Um, or I could upgrade the Silk Road trading post to go from 125 income from Silk to 175, and it goes from 25% to a 40% bonus. So that would be, that would be pretty significant, because that would be, uh, you know, 50 more income and a higher bonus to it. So that, and, and, uh, so that would be, that would be a good amount more income there. Um, and public orders rising also, which is great. Uh, and ding, I mean, yeah, we could upgrade the settlement here, get the extra building slot. Uh, we could also do the livestock farm, get more food, get a little bit more income from peasantry. Uh, I don't really think I need more food right now. I don't think it's high priority. Uh, we could also upgrade this settlement. I don't know if that's high priority. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and do the Jin Chang, uh, Silk Road Trading Post, because I think it's pretty cheap for what we what we get out of it. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that, uh, and that will keep us above 4,000 so we can, you know, do one of these uh, settlements here when we get the opportunity. Um, all right, so my armies have fully moved. I've kind of built where I want to build. Um, we got a new reform that we can do. Uh, so I think let's go ahead, and it might be time to do a reform that gives me some more buildings. Um, I don't really think I need the unit ones. I'm pretty happy, you know, I mean, the units are good, but I'm pretty happy with the units I have. I don't need the food from farming. I've already done this one with the replenishment and stuff and the public order one. Uh, and these in the middle here, these seem to be, like, specific to a type of, uh, general. So we got, like, you know, healers, um, yeah, healing rituals. This is only available to healers. This one up here is for scholars, and this one here is for veterans. It increases their satisfaction and gives them, uh, more assignments that they can do. Um... I'm not sure uh, how necessary that is right now. Uh, we could also go back to like one of these older missions uh, that that only take four turns, um, because I'm thinking like the uh, the population growth one here might be kind of nice. Um, you know, plus three k population growth. Uh, don't really need. I mean, the satisfaction is always nice, but I don't think I'm needing that right now. I might do the population growth one. Help my. Just population slowly keep growing in the settlements uh, as opposed to going for a, a building set. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that. I think that's that's a good one to have. It's only four turns, so it's a little Justice bit quicker than the other options. Um, anyone that I can possibly hire? No, no candidates. Okay, so I don't need to worry about that. And uh, and yeah, we're, we're making our rank up healed. We just need another uh, another 50, uh, 50 points here. So I think that, yeah, that's, uh, that's probably a good place to go on to the next turn. Um, I think I've kind of done everything I want. Like Commanderies, uh, ending is just plummeting. Oh, yeah, public order's plummeting now, um, because I don't have the garrison in there anymore, and, yeah, the stockpiles. Um, jeez, I just, I just hate how quickly population drops. I mean, that's just, this is awful. But, uh, Wu Wei is gaining, uh, Wu Du is gaining. It's great, yeah, they're all gaining. Um, awesome. Okay, yeah, we'll go ahead and we will end, uh, end the turn there. So we'll see, I assume that uh, this uh, woman here, the general, is going to try to run. Yep, there she goes. Uh, looks like they started mustering a new uh, a new army at the Sand Pass. Uh, that's okay. And what we got going here? Han Empire, nothing. Okay. 
no surprise, no major surprises it seems, which is good, always good. And back to my turn. All right, faction regency. Yeah, Dongmin, he's dead. Uh, so his read, okay, Wan Zuhan uh, took over. Um, is that her? Yeah. So she, she's a sentinel. She rose up here with a, with a small force. Uh, that's fine. That's not, that's not really a threat. Uh, we can, um, we can totally go ahead and chase these people down. Uh, as you can see, like the army's already almost all the way back to full strength. Uh, the generals aren't, but the army is. And I, I kind of have an interesting debate here. I mean, part of me definitely wants to go get the toolmaker, maybe, because it's valuable or more food at the food place. But I might just do that with this army as this army moves south and, and kind of moves through here and keep the pressure on Dong Min while he's weak uh, with the larger force. So let's, yeah, let's go ahead and let's let's chase her uh, down this way. Uh, and she, yep, here we go. She's going to engage. Uh, it's gonna, it should be a decisive victory for me. Um, so let's go ahead and let's uh, let's fight this battle. They only have 207 people. All right, soldiers. Okay. All right. So yeah, we'll just go ahead and uh, yeah, their force is small. I think we can just kind of rush them. Um, yeah, just archers. You know, yeah, get off. I, I just don't like that mode. Yeah, get off that mode. Fire arrows, please. Fire arrows, please. Go ahead and start the battle. Um, yeah. All right. We'll take the uh, the infantry line right up the middle there. Why, why can't I? Why is it not working? There we go. Infantry line right up the middle, minus the cab at the end. Uh, I mean, we'll just go ahead and rush right across the river on them. I think. Uh, looks like they're kind of moving towards me. Actually, they actually already have some units that are routing, uh, which is which is really interesting. Um, kind of surprising to be honest. So we'll go ahead and we'll group the archers. Uh, put them, yeah, position them behind the uh, the infantry, and. Um, Oh, I missed one. Position them behind the infantry, like so. And the cav. I mean, we don't really need to use my cav this fight. They're, they're kind of, they're, you know, we, uh, they're kind of weak. We can pull them up. Uh, in generals, yeah. I mean, I'd like it if my generals could play a little bit more of a passive role this fight, uh, if possible. Um, but yeah, you can see I'm getting some shots off on those guys. They're they're about to route. They're already wavering. Yeah, some nice fire shots. Uh, no, we're not going to do any duels. It's just not worth it. Not with my guys uh, as weak as they are at only nine and yeah, nine nine thousand in the nine thousands health wise. Definitely not worth it. Um, yeah, they kind of came in quick with their small cab units. That's totally fine. Those guys are going to drop pretty quick. Uh, pretty quick here. We'll just go ahead and swarm them with some infantry and some spears. Uh, it should go down pretty quick. You can see most of their army is already routing. Um, yeah, pretty easy one as the archers just unload on them. Uh, they're one cab units down. Go for the other one. How's that cab unit doing? They're routing. Nice. That one's about depth. That one's broken. So infantry line. Yeah, you can form back up. Go ahead and just let the archers uh, pick off the saber militia. Although it looks like they have 160% range block chance. Uh, very interesting. It must, yeah, must be some boost or something. So yeah, we'll just go ahead and we'll charge in. Uh, charge in on them. Uh, they should they should route. Yeah, there's only, yeah, there they go. They're broken. Uh, that was pretty easy. Uh, so now, yeah, now I guess we get our generals involved. I mean, go take them out. Uh, yeah, see, she's at full strength and doesn't have, like, a horrible weapon. Um, we'll just, yeah, we'll go ahead and take all the infantry. Yeah, just go ahead and, like, go, go swarm them. Uh, generals. Go after, like, one of the weak ones. Let's just kind of pick one off here. Cav, you can hit her. Yeah, that'll, she should die in a sec, any second now. And then, yeah, he's gonna fall soon. She's really the only threat, uh, which is basically, which is really not, like, a threat at all. Um, yeah, there she goes. Go take him out. All right, everybody, melee mode on her, please. Generals, can you chase him down, though? Uh, I kind of messed that up, should have done that. But yeah, she's gonna just get swarmed, uh, and that, that's fine. We'll, we'll let that happen. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna chase this guy down, which is great. Exactly what I was hoping for. Um, yeah, whole, whole, whole fall. She's gonna fight for a little while, but but go down pretty quick. All right, come on, take him out. Come on, guys. 700. He should go down any second now. I just basically need one more hit on him, one more serious hit. Look, the enemy run, Craven. Come on. Come on, take him down. Seriously, guys? Come on, take him out. There we go. All right, finally. Uh, yeah, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to go and, yeah, chase, just chase routers with the generals. 
Um, and then the two units of cav, you guys, yeah, go ahead and I guess just hit them. And then the three units of ranged cav, yeah, go ahead and uh, and hit this unit. Okay, full speed. We're just gonna try to wipe out this army completely. Make sure they can't, they don't stay up uh, through the fight. Yeah, everyone's kind of hitting someone, so we'll let the cav all go out. She's gonna live, but that's okay. Uh, no, 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 please go after them. Let the ranged cavalry and their fire arrows go take them out. Uh, yeah, you hit this big you, this big group right there. Nicely done. Uh, cavalry, yep, there comes the cav for that unit. Stay on them, please. Uh, you guys, stop firing. Just, just hit, just hit your, hit your people here. All right, there we go. You go for them. You go help out. I right, just one G militia left, actually. Yeah, they're they're all about to fall. Go help out there, I guess. Um, yeah, this unit should be down any second now. There we go. End battle. Nicely done. Gotta love it. Yep, there we go. Completely, completely Our took that army down. Was rewarded. Uh, and gains about another, wow, 1,600 for that fight. That is awesome. Um, so we did, we did actually catch this person. She still won't join my employ. Um, that's a, that's a solid weapon. I mean, it's not great, but it never hurts to have another weapon. Uh, or, no, we'll, we'll execute and take the weapon. Um, and yeah, my armies, uh, I think they're, they're pretty good for punishment wise. I mean, obviously you could always use it, but like the, the units that are really heavily damaged right now are like the horseback huntsman and stuff, which, which is kind of okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take the Return money. Them to we're just going to keep taking the money, uh, if we have the option to. Um, yeah, and then, okay, so she's actually still up, that army is still going, it's just, uh, it's just barely alive. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll go in, we'll probably want to take the gate pass. Um, and then, yeah, we can go for the, uh, the silk trader here, and then move on to that level 4 city. Uh, this army will replenish over the course of next turn, which is great. Um, yeah, we got the ancillary, and, uh, yeah, so that, that's a pretty good position to be in there. So I think we're gonna go ahead and let this army here... Um, keep moving, yeah, keep advancing, uh, and then how's this guy in the north? Yeah, he's, he can move, um, to there. Yeah, this guy has very, very limited movement range. Uh, it's kind of a bummer. It's also, the replenishment is also super low. Uh, oh, it's because of military. Okay, so military supplies is low, so that's having a, uh, effect on replenishment. Obviously, like, you know, 11 turns so fully replenished, that's tough. It's also the general's health that's going very slowly as well. So that's, I mean, that's a bummer. They're not gaining that much every uh, turn because faction support is low. But the moment I cross the river next turn here, faction support, uh, I think here it's at 100. Um, so that should, that uh, kind of minus 5 should get away and we'll be gaining 11 uh, military supplies per turn instead of just 6. So that'll be good. And we got Wu Wei still kind of doing its, uh, its thing up there. Um, so we got 6,800 to spare, uh, we can, this army's full, that army's full, I mean, we can raise it, uh, no, we can't raise any forces, I'm only making 119 turns, so what we do need to do is we need to use this cash then to ex keep expanding the economy, uh, here, yeah, that's going three turns, uh, anding here, um, I mean, we could uh, improve the livestock farm, uh, we could also upgrade the city and get another building slot, um, I think we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do that. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's upgrade Anding to the next size, uh, next size settlement. So this is going to be a level four city, uh, in a, in a little bit, the small city. Um, and we have the food to do that. So that's great. And we're still, we're going to be just, oh, you know, we'll, we'll get to four, 4,000 by the time we get, uh, this army up here down to one of these settlements. Um, okay. So yeah, uh, my guys, these guys are all happy. Uh, Hyang Shao is doing his mission. Yeah, they're happy. I mean, they're in the thirties. They're not super high. Let's, let's, I know we got some new weapons recently, so let me see. This is 1.5k damage. Um, see, this is much more damage. This is about 500 more damage. Uh, but it does get rid of 9 expertise, uh, which is just melee evasion. That might be okay uh, to go ahead and swap that out. Yeah, we'll go ahead and swap that out. We'll give them more resolve, a little more health, a little bit less melee evasion. That's all right. Um, and yeah, and we have ancillaries. I like this one. Uh, but this one's good too. Minus 5% corruption. If they are my uh, faction leader, which obviously uh, Gongdu here is. And this one here, I mean, that's, you know, plus the, the public order and the food production. That's all nice, but I don't think it's necessary. Let's go ahead and let's give him the corruption one, um, which does get rid of some resolve and a little bit of authority as well. Uh, as well as a little bit of um, 
satisfaction, but I think that's that's okay. Because uh, if you look at cities now, yeah, we, we're we're making money. We lose the money that we're that we were losing uh, from corruption. Corruption is now down to three uh, percent. I guess before it was at eight eight uh, percent. So I'm pretty uh, pretty happy with that one as well. Um, all right, so let's keep going through uh, these armies. I'm happy with what he has here. Uh, what about you, uh, Zhang Kai? Zhang Kai has about a, a little over 1,100 melee attack. Uh, we could give him the 1,000. That no, nah, that's not that's not as good. That's not as good either. Um, no, I, I kind of like what he has. He, he's got good stuff. Yeah, he's got good stuff. Um, yeah, he's got the the Zhang Kai's armor, obviously, and um, yeah, the porcelain cup is good. I like the reserves for the uh, administered commander. I mean, he's not administered to a commander. I can't do that, um, but that's okay. Uh, all right, other army. <clears throat> Let's see what we got here. So we uh, we got uh, Zhuhi. Um, nothing here is going to be better, I don't think, uh, than what he currently. Oh, I mean, this is a lot better. I'm sorry. What am I saying? Um, he's yeah, he's only getting about twelve hundred damage right now, twenty four attack rate, uh, and nine instinct minus six expertise. This gives plus eighteen authority, so a ton more authority. But it's doing over two thousand damage, plus forty to charge bonus. And minus 25% to enemy armor. Uh, we're definitely going to go ahead and give him that. Uh, we can also keep... Uh, I guess we'll keep the Celestial Spear uh, on him. That, uh, that I'm good with. But I could... Uh, Bullish units in own army? Nah, it's okay. Um, yeah, so this gave a lot of authority. So his uh, unit morale, that's going to go up. Uh, that's great. And then we got uh, Zhuzong here. Um, yeah, this is probably the best weapon out of the bunch. It is. Uh, he's got his own armor. Uh, cannot be equipped. Okay. And, yeah, he's got the, uh, retinue upkeep, um, kind of, uh, what, scroll? Whatever the heck that is. Uh, kind of thing going on. So, okay, I think that's pretty happy. And then we can give these guys, uh, whatever they don't have. I mean, they all have pretty good stuff. Um, that's really good armor. Uh, become from industry. Hong Xiao, what do you got? Plus five reserves. Minister Commandery. I don't, he doesn't have a Commandery again himself. Um... I just want to make sure. Yeah, I was just trying to see. You know, are they are they as happy as they uh, as they can be here? I want to make sure they're all they're all doing well. We can give a we can give a nice weapon here to uh, Beba Shao. Uh, she's pretty. She likes me. She's pretty happy. Give her the great glaive. Um, all right. So yeah, I mean, I think that's pretty much uh, that's it for the generals. Um, armies are doing their thing. Commanderies. Yeah, Andings losing public order. It's shutting it real real fast. Um, but the other settlements are all gaining public order, which is great. Uh, unfortunately, Anding has four more turns of this, so it's, it's going to get pretty low. The population's probably going to get down to zero. It's kind of a bummer. Um, but that's, that's fine. There's nothing too much I can do about that. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's move on to the next turn and, uh, and see what happens here. Yeah, so their army retreated here. All right, and no other uh, no other major surprises uh, jumped in. So, okay, um, yeah, luckily Wudu's getting happier, and things going downhill hard. Um, what what are the three notifications here? We got low military supplies and action points. Okay, let's go to this army. Uh, it's up here. Yeah, we'll have them finally cross the river, and you can see military supplies now. Yep, they're gaining 12 per turn, so that should rise pretty quick, and replenishment will go up as a result. I think now that they're over here, we'll go ahead and we'll move towards this city. We'll hit them in a few turns. It's going to take a little while, um, but uh, I do want to go take the salt mine um, in, uh, what's that, Xi'an? Xi'an? Yeah. Uh, where's the rest of the commandery for Xi'an? Is it these... Provinces. Oh, I'm sorry. It's Shu Feng. Uh, so it's probably these four here as the commander. So we'll go ahead and yeah, we can we can go secure that commander. Um, other army down here. Where can you move? I mean, we could go in on the Silk Trader. We could move immediately down to the city that's controlled by the uh, by the emperor, um, or we could go for this force that's that's mustering here in the Sand Pass. Um, Corruption. We can go for the next turn. Let's immediately, yeah, we'll get in here and we'll hit the uh, Silk Trader uh, and go ahead and capture, uh, definitely capture it. So let's get right into this fight. All right, let's get in this one. Um, yeah, this, this should be pretty straightforward. I mean, they have uh, they have towers, but their force is pretty small. 
I think what we'll do is we'll, yeah, we'll go ahead and use those horses. Go and hit the towers. Are we really in range? We started, the horses started in range. That's really interesting. Um, so yeah, but we'll, we'll use the horses there. We'll try to burn down these towers and then move in with the rest of the, uh, rest of the forces. Their, their army's pretty, uh, pretty tiny. Uh, and if there's one thing I've learned, it's that towers fall pretty quick from fire. So we'll let them, uh, we'll let them toss their fire arrows in here. Uh, if it catch once it catches, I can stay up fire damage as a hundred, so let's start firing at the other one. And uh, yeah, we'll just we'll try to take these towers down pretty quick. We're getting some shots in on the uh, the units in here as well. Uh, it looks like we got a couple at least. You can see like right there. Yeah, uh, they're at thirteen percent. Their archers did start firing at me. Uh, I guess generals just go ahead and charge in. You can probably do this with just them. It's a pretty small uh, small force that they have in here. Rest of the troops, go ahead and just, yeah, we'll just get everyone inside. Yeah, you all just keep burning down that, uh, there we go. Burn down that tower, and now they'll be at fire at will on the rest of the, the people here in the city. Here come the general's charge. Get right into them. Let's see this guy with his new charge bonus. Oh, look at that. That charge bonus did well. All right. Then use your specials, please. Go ahead and try to route this unit up. Boom. Oh, nice. Yeah, and they're routing immediately. That was pretty pretty quick and easy. Uh, yeah, we can we can keep our generals going through and go in and hit the archers, keep them moving. Rest of the forces are coming in pretty quick. Cavalry can uh, can go ahead and turn on the swordsmen there. Uh, generals, yeah, just keep uh, keep on these archer guys. City is burning. Jeez, that's crazy. Um, and yeah, those guys are routing. Generals, go ahead and turn on the other archers. If we can get them the routes, that should be victory. Nice and easy. We definitely lost some uh, some ranged archers, but that's okay. The mounted ones, you know, like the... Sorry, not ranged. Uh, they're all ranged. They're all archers. <laughs> um, but no, we definitely lost some mounted archers, but I think that's uh, that's okay. I think that'll be fine. Alright, so quick and easy fight <laughs> to take the Silk Trader there. We only lost 16 guys. We don't get that much in terms of um, uh, money, but we do get the settlement. And then forced migration. What is this? Your general reports a swift colonization of the recently annexed territory. Crucial prosperity. Um, people want to come over. Okay, so we got 20% population for Hang Zhong, uh, but decreased recruitment. Minus 15% replant. That's heavy. That's real heavy. Uh, we can get, but we can get uh, plus 10%. But it's also, oh, it's for two turns less. Or you know what? We're just gonna do nothing. I don't have the city for uh, Hangzhong yet, so it, it's it's really not that important to me. I can deal with that later once it's like a part of my uh, you know a proper part of my empire. But we do have the Silk Trader. Uh, we are getting uh, about ninety eight additional income per turn just from capturing this one town, uh, which is very nice. And we can go ahead and this is actually the only settlement in this commandery other than the city. Uh, the city is owned by Zhang Lu. Mm -hmm. Zhang Lu is uh, another faction that is at war with me, so we could go for them if we want to. Um, but time for the time being, they're here. I kind of want to go take the Sand Pass next. I just I want to secure that uh, little spot because it's uh, it, you know it is pretty close here to Wudu, which is my capital. Um, and then this force, yeah, this is going to take a little bit to walk through that forest, so that's good. I'm kind of protected there. Uh, what else? What's the notification? Low military supplies. I'm well aware. Thank you very much. Uh, I know. Um, construction available. Rebellion mustering. Um, why? Public order is pretty... Is it zero? Why would a rebellion be mustering? I, I would think for Anding, Ding, maybe, a, uh, maybe there'd be a rebellion, a potential rebellion. But that, that, that is what it is. Um, I don't want to spend too much money because I do want to eventually use this force to take the toolmaker here in Anding. Ding. Um, so we'll keep going with that. And then, yeah, they're going to go here. They're going to replenish. They're going to get almost 20% this turn. This force is, uh, keeps building back up towards full strength as we push in here towards, uh, you know, Kui, Kui Shao, <laughs> uh, or Wu, Wu Zuan. Yeah, sorry, Wu Zuan. That's, that's, that's the, that's the faction leader. Uh, and we haven't met anyone else. Still the same, settle, uh, same people. Um, and yeah, no candidates either. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, all right, so I think that's kind of all for this turn. Uh, I don't really think there's anything else. I'm not going to spend the money to build anything yet. Um, so I think let's go ahead and let's move on to the next turn. See what our uh, what our enemies do. So we got to Wu Zhan. Uh, she stayed put. All of her armies stayed put. So the Sand Pass is vulnerable, which I could go for, uh, which is nice. Han Empire is not doing anything surprising. And uh, Zhang Lu is not moving his force, although it looks like he just hired more units in, because now you can see it's like half strength over here. Um, it is winter, 
Okay, that's a war I don't care about. Jade Bird, relationships even between Zhang Kai and Gongdu, and I got a lot of experience for Gongdu. That's nice. How he is a little less than six thousand away from from level six. That's awesome. And Zhang Kai uh, really likes working, uh, being a general. Um, so that's good. This army, yeah, this army definitely expanded. You can see all the units mustering. So he's holding up a force here. A lot of these spear guards. Uh, a lot of those spear guards. Five units, or uh, four units of them. Uh, this guy, yeah, you can keep moving. Uh, make your way over this direction. Um, not sure why you're losing military supply. I should have gone into the city. That was kind of a mistake. I, they're losing military supplies so quick. It's kind of a bummer, but they're actually going to get some good punishment this turn. Um, but it's only for one season, just during the winter. Uh, and then we, yeah, we'll keep advancing. We're in friendly territory, so it's not that bad. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so then we got the army down here. And what I want to do with him is kind of interesting, but that is going to be what we leave for the next episode. So, uh, I do want to thank everyone for watching. As always, uh, if you enjoyed the video, you know, go ahead and like, uh, comment and subscribe. It means a lot to the channel. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, thank you so much if you do. Uh, so, um, so yeah, uh, I, I look forward to the next episode where we'll go for the sand pass, uh, take out that force and then continue on, um, attacking the rest of, uh, of this faction here of, uh, Wu Zhan, uh, or Wan, Wan Zhuan, however the heck you pronounce it. Um, everybody, uh, thanks again and, uh, and have a good one. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.